Hello and welcome back to the Accessible Technology Podcast where you get to hear all about the everyday technology that is accessible for disabled people as well as what isn't and where you also get to hear tips that I would give to tech companies on how they can make their technology more accessible for disabled people. My name is Phoebes and I am paralysed from the neck down, meaning that I can't move any part of my body other than my head, which is why I rely on everyday technology to get around everyday activities. This podcast is now available to listen to on Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, Audible and Spotify. So please check it out if you would like to keep on following what's coming up in the next episode. However, if you'd like to support the podcast and the content I produce in other ways, you can also support it by going over to the Fabes now by me a coffee page, which is where you will also be able to find exclusive episodes that aren't part of the podcast as well as checking out a shop that I plan to open at some stage. In this episode you're going to be hearing what the top six most accessible apps for your iPhone are. And this comes from a video that I originally uploaded to YouTube on the 26th of August 2019. Note however that it was actually originally filmed on an iPhone X. Although the apps that are mentioned you can also get on newer models. You'll know that you can still get them on that. But also, some other apps included in this list may not be available nationwide as an app, so keep that in mind as well. But now, let's get straight into the episode. Number 6 is Duolingo. Duolingo is a free language learning app which has been widely used since its launch in 2010 and its private beta in 2011. It can be downloaded for free on iPhone and Android, but can also be used on Windows and on the web. I am using Duolingo to learn Spanish at the minute. But while most of the features are easy to access, I find that it doesn't always recognise my voice. Number 5. BBC Sounds BBC Sounds is an app developed by BBC Media Applications Technologies Limited and is available for iPhone, Android the web and windows you can scan through and see who you'd like to listen to on live video and also find podcasts personally speaking as someone who is trying to get into journalism and is interested in politics i find the bbc signs up very interesting and very good and very easy to get through as far as reaching our goals. Number four, the BBC News app. 
Like what I said about the BBC Sounds app, I find the BBC News app very easy to operate and it allows me to see all different types of stories. I used to find it hard to reach up. No, I find it easy enough, but the only bit of criticism I will give it is that it's sometimes difficult to find out the topic that you want, and I just find that sometimes you have to type it in instead of tapping. Number three, the Apple Store app. The Apple Store app is an app available for download on iPhone and any iDevice where you can view and order any of the latest devices you may want. It's easy to browse and you can do anything from viewing to ordering. Number two, Apple Podcasts. Apple Podcasts is an app available on every iPhone and iPad product which can be downloaded from the App Store if you need to reinstall. Through podcasts, you have access to everything from historical and theological discussions to theatrical performances and more. And at number one, iTunes iTunes is the main Apple product for listening to music and with a one month Apple Music subscription you can download any music you want for free. iTunes is available for download on any Apple device but you can also get onto it by searching for www.itunes.com on Windows. So what do you think about the apps included in this list? Has this podcast made you want to download any of them? And if it has, which one? Or has anything made you not want to download the apps? Or are you unable to download them for any reason? I have to admit, although I do watch and listen to quite a bit on the BBC and I totally understand the people who don't like the BBC. I do feel lucky that I can access the BBC I play over here but that there are American fans of some shows on it who can't watch some of the British content we get to watch over here. But anyway, if you would like to pass on some of your thoughts to me, we can include them in a review wherever you're listening to this on, as well as via the contact pages over on my Feebstyle Tech Review site, www.pltechreviews.co.uk, or on my other website, bblow.com. If you're interested in watching my other videos on accessible technology, you can find more over on my PL Tech Reviews YouTube channel. And if you would like to see a couple of my accessible tourism reviews, as well as my film, TV, theatre reviews and political videos, you can see them by searching for my Fabe Style Journalism YouTube channel. You can also follow my other podcast, the Fabe Style Podcast, by searching for it on Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music and Audible, and Spotify. So please check it out. However, if commenting on a website or a video isn't something you would be up to, you can also support the podcast 
by going over to the Babes Lounge by me a coffee here, where you will have the option to give me a one-time donation or to check out other bits of exclusive content that won't be part of the actual podcast as well as checking out various other things that I plan to upload in a store version at some point in the future. Oh, of course, you can support me by going over to any of my socials. The next episode that comes out will be a similar one to this one, and that will be a list of the six most accessible games you can get for your iPhone with a review of a wireless charger stand for an iPhone X by Anchor coming out after that. So it can also work with other models as well and there are also other choices you can get. But anyhow, thanks for listening to this complete podcast episode the whole way through. And please follow us if you like what I'm doing. You can contact me on Twitter by following at Feebslow. And my Instagram handle is the real Feebslow. You can also follow the Feebslow Check with the site if you have a WordPress account. But anyway, that's all for now. So thanks for listening. And I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye!